All right, testing, testing one two. You wanna you wanna say anything? This is Ben. He's my squishmallow. He's a baby Yoda. Hi, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Hopefully welcome back. I'm hoping you're clicking that subscribe button and seeing your videos through the feed, you know, at this point. Come on now. I've been uploading weekly, so where is your consistent upload? I mean your consistent <laughs> your consistent views. Cause I'm doing my part, are you? Are you? Okay. <laughs> um, if you haven't, you can like and subscribe and turn off notifications so that you get notified and it helps the algorithm know, yes, I subscribe to this YouTuber and I'm interested in seeing their future videos. So you should push these videos out to more people because people want to see it. Like, comment, share, all that stuff really helps get my video to the algorithm. Um, you might be wondering, what am I doing with my man Bob? We are going to be telling you about my favorite Netflix shows or Netflix shows I think you're sleeping on and definitely need to get on right now. I think an effort should be made in this video as opposed to my last video to like pay attention, to look at the camera, to not have my, my lazy eyes drifting everywhere. They're already doing it. Dang, this is bad. These are not going to be like in any particular order. Um, some of these are all my favorite shows and then like some of them are not. So I think I'm going to start with one that has been taken off Netflix as of like, I don't know, a few years ago. Well, a year ago, I think. And that is Once Upon a Time. Now, it is not a Netflix show. It's not a Netflix original, but it is like... It's so good. Like, I feel like I watch, I was rewatching it, and I was like, okay, this is a bit corny. So, I would say that, like, if you cannot stand green screen stuff, you might not like the show. I didn't notice how much was green screen until rewatching the show. And I was like, oh, wow, this is green screen. This is green screen. But if I didn't know it was green screen, I wouldn't like be aware of it so maybe I shouldn't be telling you this information I love the show so basically what's the premise of the show if all the Disney characters not just Disney princess and princess but like m majority of fairy tale characters were real people in a real town where they couldn't leave and the only one who knew that they were fairy tale characters was the mayor or the evil queen Regina and then someone comes back to save them, but she doesn't know that she's supposed to save them. She's the daughter of Snow White and Prince Charming. And spoiler alert, which not really, Prince Charming and Snow White are not together. They are with different people. Wait a minute, did I just spoil something? <laughs> you don't even see Prince Charming for a while. Um, but yeah. It's, it's very interesting. I feel like some of the family lines are just like genius because it just doesn't make sense. Like the whole, all I'm going to say is Regina, the evil queen, Rumpelstiltskin, and her mom are way more intertwined than you'd think. Yeah. Also, how Rumpelstiltskin became Rumpelstiltskin, his whole family is just so like, what? you wouldn't expect it and another thing you will never see peter pan the same a lot of people say they have a crush on that peter pan i could not have a crush on that peter pan with all with who he was you will never see peter pan the same i can't be like oh peter pan anymore no peter pan is a different man to me so it might ruin that for you but once upon a time is a great show if you love like fantasy um fiction um magic tons of magic the fantasy type beat that sort of stuff a lot of people hate on the last season i am one of them it is not good and it really lacks from not having one of the main the main main characters involved the main main character is only like in two episodes the show basically becomes about a different character and so i really don't like that but um definitely watch it it also has like redemption arcs and what could have been enemies to lovers But I think there's there's other enemies to lovers and friends to lovers and love triangles and it's a good show. It's a good show. 
Um, some of the writing or the like scripts can be a little corny, but that's being picky. It's one of my favorite shows. Um, I said that and I will stand by it. So yeah, that's my first show on Netflix. It's not actually on Netflix anymore, so I don't know if it counts, but it's a good show and I watched it on Netflix. So you can find it on Disney Plus now. So the second show that I'm going to talk about is one that I watched. I've watched it like five times. Not all the way through five times, but I've watched it about five times. I'm one of those people who watches shows over and over. So all of these shows I'm mentioning, i am either watched them once or was like on my second round um, and didn't get to finish it because it got taken on Netflix or I just watched something else instead. So <laughs> I've watched this show a lot of times because it took forever for them to renew the second and third seat, the third and fourth season. And then, I don't know, I just like the show. This is Greenhouse Academy. I love Greenhouse Academy. Is it a tad bit corny sometimes? Yes. Is it a tad bit unrealistic sometimes? Hell yes. But is it a great show? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a great show. It's a great show. How do I explain the show? It's about this kid who wants to get into this really good school that his mom went to. His mom, uh, she was no more. So he wanted to honor her legacy. <laughs> and go to the school that she went to it's a boarding school his sister went with her and um i'm sure you can fill in the gaps about what happened basically both of them ended up at this school now did she stay or not i cannot tell you because i'm not trying to spoil things but there's a lot there's a mystery it's, it's basically a mystery um show there's this there's like the cia involved because their dad is an fbi a rock I know, a rock, wow, how interesting. The rock has some significance and um, science research. Um, the show isn't about science research, I'm just explaining some things that went on that involved the mystery and uh, murder? Was there murder? I don't know. Close to murder, close to murder. Some near death experiences, romance, relationships, enemies to lovers. <laughs> Can you tell that's my favorite trope? <laughs> Friends to lovers, uh, rival, rivalry, rivalries, you know, classic tropes, unexpected stuff, twists and turns, basically the whole academy is like solving mysteries. Now there are things that like give euphoria vibes and that like they look way older than to be high schoolers and like the math doesn't pan out for them to still be in school at that point in their lives, but they are. But anyways, it's not about that. Season one and two are way better than season three and four. I stand by that. Season three and four, um, a few actors were replaced and then some left and it just makes the show like you're lacking there's lacking in some places especially because they replaced a biracial character with a white character so it just doesn't make sense because they tried to make it seem like she was the same person but she looks and acts way different um that's just my bone to pick it was based off an israeli show called uh greenhouse i think it's just called greenhouse or the greenhouse or something um and they have more seasons than the netflix show it did get canceled it's a netflix original but it did get canceled it wasn't renewed um, which is so disappointing because it, it, we were left on a cliffhanger and we'll never get the answer to what happened. So, But some things were resolved. Um, relationships that broke up and moved on relapsed and went back together. And there's like two main teams betwe between the relationship. Love triangle that I mentioned that's also in there. And I'm on one side and that one side did not win in the end and I wanted to die. Because there's no, I could talk about this for hours. There's no reason why she would get, okay, I can't even say it, but like, he doesn't deserve her at all. Red flags, red flags, red, 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 dark, deep red flags. This is my comfort show. We're going to talk about a typical, I didn't have to sing it, I just did. I love atypical um atypical they say it's about an autistic um boy who wants a girlfriend and is growing up that's essentially what it's about but that's actually completely not what it's about it that's the start of it but that just rolls down a spiral of the mom going through <laughs> going through a lot 
because of that kid the daughter and her journey in relationships and finding out who she is the father in his reaction to everything going on and his relationship with Sam who is the main character I think the show isn't necessarily Sam just being a main character I think all of them are main characters Sam Casey Elsa and Doug all four of them are kind of main characters I'm very much, again, there seems to be like a relationship triangle, kind of. I'm very much on the first relationship. I'm sorry. I'm talking about Casey. Like, no hate to who she ends up with in the end, but I kind of don't like that character at all. I just, there, I, I don't like that character. And I just loved the relationship. So, it is what it is, okay? Um, I love Casey Gardner so much, obviously. Casey got my heart i love sam he's so sweet and um i relate to him a lot for some reason him and his penguins <laughs> he loves penguins um a lot of the show there's like a lot of antarctica references and that's because of sam but it's a great show it's such a like heartwarming show but it also deals with hard topics i say this show was the show that i feel like realistically showed high school and um they didn't dramatize it or make there be tons of mean girls or like weird situations it was just it was real to me i think it was real and um it was perfectly casted the last season i feel like can be a little bit cringy there's some cringy moments or very corny moments or unrealistic actually moments but um the first three seasons season three is the best season it's done so well um a lot of people in the autistic community were criticizing sam in season one and i can say yeah he definitely shined a lot more in season three you could really see you know him being human um and not just them putting every autistic trait as a stereotype onto him so yeah i love the show it's not it, it's so much more than just that storyline and there's drama there's romance there's friend and en enemies to lovers again oh my gosh <laughs> there's friends to lovers there's unwanted love there's one-sided love there's heartbreak there's scandalous cheating yeah there's all of it but also in a wrapped up in a wholesome cute way i love it typical if you haven't watched it watch it I, I bet you'll love it. So this is one that I started watching recently and I think it really it really made me fall in love with the idea of being black in the 90s and that is Moesha. <laughs> it is not a new show but I love the show. I really like Nisi. She's like my favorite character. It took me a second to like get into the show, but now I love it. It's so funny. I didn't know Brandy was Moesha. When I found out Brandy was Moesha, I was like, what? But first of all, how did I miss that? I, I have no idea. But I actually didn't know who Brandy was uh, like two years ago. So finding out who she was and then f watching Moesha and then finding out Brandy was Moesha was just like mind mind blow after mind blow but I love Moesha it's a story about just like a black teenage girl in the 90s and it's a sitcom and it's done well it's not like oh we're black we're black we're black all the time it's just like a show about a black family or a black girl and it's not overly done it's not dramatized it's not politicized sometimes there's politics in it but it's like done naturally like how it actually affects us and not like preachy 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 i've posted a tiktok on how i feel about sometimes black shows can be over dramatized or stereotypes um and I can leave that TikTok link in my bio because I think it's I think it's informative. I don't know. I, I agree with it so strongly. So yeah. Love that show. Good show. I'm about to watch the Moesha. Well not today, tomorrow, after I get done with work because it's gonna be so exciting but i love moesha definitely watch moesha i'm gonna go on to some honorable mentions um these are shows that either aren't underrated aren't on netflix or just aren't my favorites um the first one is the office it's it's not on netflix anymore it's only on peacock or on tv and it's not underrated at all i don't have to explain the office i love the office it's basically a comedy sitcom based in scranton pennsylvania in 
a paper company and the boss is hilarious the actors are hilarious they do amazing improv and along with that i'd recommend the office ladies podcast but i'm gonna make uh my favorite podcast um video at some point but yeah watch the office i if you haven't already that's just an honorable mention my second honorable mention is dynasty <laughs> I've been watching this now I don't love it but I don't hate it like it's pretty good there is some like mystery suspense money laundering it's a it's a soap opera so um that kind of stuff I feel like it can kind of be too like sexual so I'm like mm, eh, I don't I don't love that part of it but other than that I think it's pretty good I think sometimes they can have some like just not good behavior I don't know how to explain that like cut a characters just frustrate you you're like why are you doing this you could be so much better why are you not <laughs> but Liz Gills is in it I don't know if I say her name correctly but she's a great actress and um she does a great job in the show but yeah it's a good show it's not a great show um definitely for all the audiences okay my last show I've saved it for last this show I'm going to have spoilers I'm sorry there's no way I can talk about the show without spoiling it so I'm gonna give you a broad scape and then I'm just gonna put a spoiler alert do not watch it if you have not watched the show just skip over I'm not gonna say click off the video no continue watching to the end and like and subscribe and all that stuff but <laughs> um this is Umbrella Academy I I love Umbrella Academy. I'm rewatching it right now. Um, I'm waiting for season three patiently, but not really because it's been a few years. Umbrella Academy. It's about a family of seven, seven kids who were born on the same day um, at the same exact time, adopted by a mad scientist, you could say. The type of guy, he's fascinated in them and their powers. Yes, they have powers. This is another fantasy sci-fi a sci-fi type of show oh my gosh there's enemies to lovers in this show too <laughs> no way no way no way um big spoiler i'm not even gonna say it but enemies to lovers and then they find out that she's a uh, there's something about her that ties them there's also like i can't even i can't even say this okay okay so basically um there's seven of them they have superpowers, they all have different superpowers, and they work together for a certain cause uh, surrounding the apocalypse um, that one of them knows about. Okay. Spoiler alert. There's incest. <laughs> I mean, not necessarily, but not really, but kind of. I mean, yeah. I didn't pick it up. I didn't pick it up at first and I watched it with my friend and like from the first episode she picked it up the chemistry and I was like I didn't pick this up till like episode four it's not technically the kind of there's so many things that you don't expect yeah let me say that before you click off your spoiler there's so many things you don't expect there's so many twists and turns there were certain things that I did expect and I was I expected for the moment there are characters that um end up being not good characters and I I caught it from the very moment I just never trusted them um and then there's characters who are good that you don't expect to be good so you think there's something sus about them but they're actually good um it, it's just it's not really mystery but okay here's here's how i explained it to my friend the show starts in current time you do you get some backslashes but like there's a lot of questions that you have so it's almost like it's a mystery for you but it's not a mystery for them because they know what's happening but you don't so eventually over time it's revealed to you and also there's like seven days or something to an apop apocalypse um and like I, I love this show. It's so genius. I thought it was written, but it's actually based off of a comic book, which I want to read one day. But crazy, crazy, crazy. Just found out Ashtray from Euphoria is going to be in season three, which I need him and Five to have scenes together. The characters who end up being the strongest 
or the weakest you wouldn't expect the evolution of these characters is crazy some people say season two is kind of repetitive or that it's kind of boring and i would agree at some terms that i feel like season two doesn't have as much to it but i like both seasons um crazy 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 the evolution of some of these characters it, you just you don't expect it there's so many things that you just were like what i didn't expect that um i would say for content there is a lot of blood there is a lot of guns there is a lot of fighting but it's done in a tasteful way because i'm not like into violence and stuff but it's i what i love about that show is also when they have fight scenes or like violent scenes they put upbeat music which doesn't make sense because they always put creepy music around stuff they don't do creepy music like there are some scenes that they have like creepy vibes and stuff but it's not scary it's not a scary show i promise i get scared i'm like hypersensitive i get scared of everything it's not scary it's just like it's intrigue or suspense but not too much suspense there's not really any jump scares um there are some scenes with one character um, who can like see the dead that you're like, ugh, but he doesn't do it often. Um, I, I'm talking too much about this show. I love the show. Um, definitely worth the watch. Uh, that's just, I'd say, you can always just close your eyes when they show like blood and stuff and guns. But other than that, I think there's a needle too um, that you should be aware of. Mild language, nothing, nothing a big deal. Um, but yeah, two Academy shows are my favorite, Umbrella Academy and Green Nuts Academy. Thank you so much for watching. Those are my, what, six, five, six? I don't even know. Let me count for a second. Six or seven favorite shows. I had a list. Um, and shows that I think you should definitely watch and you're missing out if you're not watching them. I really appreciate all your likes and comments. I don't get that many likes and comments, but when I do, I really appreciate them. Um, let me know if I should do movies because I'm more of a series person than a movies person. I could definitely do more series because I watch the same ones over and over and I need to watch some new ones. Like I want to watch All American and um, there was another show that I wanted to watch. It was like The Society or something. I don't know. There are some other shows that I want to watch. But for right now, those are the shows that I've been watching over and over. Also, shout out to H2O. I watched that last year in quarantine or a year and a half ago in quarantine because I felt like it. And you know what? H2O was a good show. Another enemies to lovers that is the best couple on the show. And I wish they didn't break up in the end. Oh, that was a spoiler. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And um, yeah. This is like an interesting video. I've been doing so many vlogs and like different content videos. I haven't done a sit down video. So yeah, they're kind of easier to do. I don't know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a great day and remember that you were loved. My stomach really hurts because I had ice cream yesterday, but I'm lactose intolerant. Um, yeah. It's my fault. Also, my back hurts and I work tomorrow, which means I'm going to be standing. And um, yeah, that's going to make my back hurt even more. So that's fun. Um, what is the point of this video? What am I doing? So, okay. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. What was that? We're going to have to restart this. The blooper reels is going to be long for this video. Hi. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Or, you know welcome to I said that and also to have me not fidgeting 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 well uh, gosh <laughs> my favorite thing to do um I did it in my wisdom tooth vlog I watched umbrella academy while doing lego because I'm a nerd and I'm five years old and I like doing lego so here I can show you I have it right here this is gonna go in the bloopers because there's no reason why I should be showing this right now um, I'm working on Singapore. So anyways, um...